Ja, då. Oj. Och så har du gjort det, sätt om. Stapel där, sätt om. Det gör att det ska bli varje gång som stapel där. Yeah, I got fired. Thinking of a career change? I mean, you've been working for those people for all along five years, doing the same thing your whole life, I'm assuming. Now would be the time. But I don't need to get personal here. But it's very obvious. I've been suffering from a lot of Disabilities have been passed down in my family, and I'd like to help people. That's what I want this to be about. And if I can't get back on my feet, I want to help someone get back on theirs. So these people, they can help cure all sorts of things: osteoporosis. Even, even mental problems, bipolar, schizophrenia, all the stuff that your family may or may not have gone through. You want to talk about helping people? You can help people, but you can also help yourself. You know, the money goes a long way here. I don't know. It's, it's not about money. But I don't really give a shit about myself. I care about others, and you know, if I can sort of like donate myself, yeah. Well can't help anyone else until you help yourself. And I know you don't care about the money, but at a certain point, you have to wake up. You can't be naive. Trust, you talk about humanity. Why don't you trust them? Because one day, in a few years, you're gonna see this on the news and you're gonna wish you were a part of it. Yeah. It's either yes or no. I need an answer. Sorry, it's... It's an offer. That's all right. Hope you get on your feet. I was hoping for details. Shit, I said now. Stand up! Slowly. Stand up. Stop fucking around and get up. This is a conversation with you. Turn around. Okay. Turn around. Walk. Go outside. Yeah, he was dropped off. It was excitable, but it wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Yeah, everything went as planned. No, no, it didn't work going through the air. I had to put the chip in another way. I had to get surgical. Yeah, well, obviously, he's gonna have those side effects just like the others. Memory loss, fatigue. But none of that should matter.
when he wakes up, right? Chip. It's like a pill. You take it and it regulates the chemical imbalances in your brain. But you can overdose and die on a pill. That's the beauty of the chip. If you die on it, it creates a digital afterlife. But in order to microdose it and test it, I need to know its full potential. Here's the thing. You're an enforcer. Enforcers already have the chip in their brains. And I've been enforcing. Just tell me what you want to see. And one more time, I'm going to send you a location via this chip for you to meet me. I'm going to check on your chemical imbalances, see if they've changed. You're not going to remember me. What's the end goal here? Can you tell me that much, at least? Everything I've just told you needs to happen now. We're about to change the world. And Marcus, he's a sacrifice worth making.
the beauty of the chip. If you die on it, it creates a digital afterlife. But there ain't no digital afterlife. As much as I fucking believe that anyways, do you really think I believe that? Do you think that I believe you, huh? Chips in my head and afterlife? Are you fucking insane? You don't get to play God. That's exactly what this private entity is trying to do. You want to talk about helping the sake of humanity? Well, the money goes a long way too. It's not about the money. I mean, the, the people is what it's about. That, that's, that's why I'm doing this. Uh, that's why I want to put my faith in you. That's why I want to put my faith in you. <laughs> Yes, both test subjects are dead. Well, Neuralink did not do what we initially set out for. Well, yes, who do you take me for? You really think I would set all this up without a contingency plan? You could call it that. Well, think bigger picture. No, think bigger. I'm talking about life and death. Heaven and nothingness. Well, right now, they're not exactly dead. Think of it as a waiting room. But behind every door is whatever we please. Oh, these things are one day swallowed. 